What's up? White Boy Radio back in the house. And uh, even when hurricanes come, sometimes you got to give people a taste of their own medicine, if you will. Uh, hey, we've been posting what we have can show you guys and whatnot, what's been happening. But uh, there's been shenanigans reported. And these shenanigans come from a person who I've personally promoted on this platform. You all can remember back um, when I took a stand for Doug Live from Northport. And thanks to all the subs that came by. And listen, uh, just, for, just to be clear, this, um, that case is still ongoing. Um, obviously, with the hurricane, it's put a halt in things, but there's plans for that. We'll get there in a second. If you could remember, there was a person, um, a person that came by and uh, was blocked on the channel, and I gave this said person a voice to say what she had to say, and um, she was on the platform plenty, plenty of times. And as of lately, in this Facebook group, she has decided to speak negatively against white boy and damaged goods. Now, keep in mind, the last communication I had with her, I kind of called her on what emails I was receiving in regards to how people were feeling about her. And, I, and as we do it on White Boy Radio, I just simply kept it real, asked her. Um, and in return, a lot of troll accounts were made and this and that. But let me tell you what she said. Okay, this is a person I gave my platform to, to try to help her. She said that uh, we were e-begging with the hurricane. She said that uh, we were on the roads when we're not supposed to be on the roads. She said that we were told to have a 10 day supply of food and all this other shit. Well, the problem here is she's not from Florida. We never asked for a dollar. And thank you to the people who did come through with us. I truly appreciate it. I know I don't ever e-bag and either does my wife. You guys know this. My name on YouTube is in the clear on that. I don't even have to defend myself or explain it. And it's funny because the people who attack White Boy Radio are a funny caliber of people. And you may be scratching your head right now like, well, I do remember this lady, and I thought everything was cool. Well, do you really know who this lady is? She's not from Florida. She cannot tell you if we have curfews or whatnot. She doesn't know. I think it's funny that she's hawking my channel. If she dislikes me so much on a post on Facebook, she's watching and trying to critique what I say. God forbid I keep a sense of humor and say there's another boat with no water during a hurricane. What am I supposed to do, stress out? No. But I, you guys know who Matt is. I'm honest. My whole life is on Front Street. You guys know about my background and everything else. I've been to prison, everything. We're an open book over here, people. It's why, it's why a caliber of people, when they take shots, they usually stop. Keep in mind, baby gap, Benjamin Keys, but this lady is an oddball. And, and listen, my golden rule, I don't like to punch down. But being that I have to punch down, we have to keep it factual. And uh, this video was really for Doug Live from Northport. Hey man, I, you're a member of the community. I appreciate you. Um, you know, uh, if I could take it back, I, I wouldn't do anything wrong or different. You know, and uh, we will be there unlike this groupie will, when um, the court date comes. And, you know, um, I don't, if you take anything from this video, I know that you have gotten messages about this person. And uh, I'm telling you that uh, they get really weird. And if you contact me personally, I can show you things with her saying she's in love with you and everything else, man. I've never said it publicly. Um, I thought she's a little bit loony but I have no problem showing you, you know, her multiple email accounts that she emailed me on. But uh, even better than that, I'll do you one better. You know, this person is infamous for pointing the camera at her legs and feet and talking with marbles in her mouth. But we're talking about this person. This is the person we're talking about. Now, 
you might ask, what is that? One thing she said that I thought was funny is, they were told to have 10 days of food in their house. Why didn't they have prepared for it? It was like she was shooting a dig at old white boy. So, you know, old white boy can take him and punch him back. So let's get started, shall we? Here is Miss T. Keep in mind, I'll probably put the link in the description. Um, just so you understand, I'm reading this from Google. January 14th, 2019. North Anson, woman indicted on criminal charges of criminal threatening. Teresa Richardson Kelly allegedly pulled a handgun on two Somerset County deputies attempting to serve her with papers. A North Anson woman who allegedly pulled a gun on two Somerset County Sheriff deputies in October has been indicted by a county grand jury on two felony counts of criminal threatening with a dangerous weapon. Teresa Richardson Kelly, 56, named in the grand jury indictment as Teresa Kelly, allegedly pointed a handgun at deputies as they attempted to serve her with court paperwork on October 10th at her home on Melt Road. A court affidavit filed by Corporal Matthew Cunningham of the Sheriff's Office states that he was assigned by the Sheriff Dale Lancaster to escort civil deputy Eugene Hutchins to Kelly's home, where she was served civil paper regarding alleged threatening behavior involving the use of a firearm. Cunningham said the pair arrived to find the exterior of the house cluttered with debris, with only a narrow path to the porch and front door. The path was made through the garbage, refuse, and property stacked on the porch, Cunningham wrote in the affidavit. As they approached the front door, Cunningham noted that the microphone pack from his WatchGuard audio camera system had failed to act activate. He said there were lights on in the house and they could hear movement, but no one answered, and he repeated knocks on the door. He said he heard a woman's voice yelling obscenities telling them to get off her property. The dirty curtain covering the window and front door was whipped aside, revealing an irate woman standing on the other side of the door pointing a revolver at Deputy Hutchins and, and said, still yelling for her to get off the property. Cunningham wrote in the court document, Cunningham said he identified himself and drew his side arm and pointed at the woman, screaming, Sheriff's Office, drop the gun. He wrote that Hutchins tried to, draw, to dive to the left and out of the line of fire, but the porch was so littered with debris that he had nowhere to go. Likewise, I was also trapped in a fatal funnel in front of the door. He wrote, I had nowhere to take the cover. I could not even back off the porch I felt I was about to be shot. This is the cop. Cunningham continued saying he felt he had no choice but to deploy deadly force to prevent a mutual fatal exchange of gunfire. I began squeezing the trigger with this intent, intending to shoot the woman through the window glass, he wrote. As I did, she dropped her pistol out of sight and yelled at me, I have dropped it. I have effing dropped it. I have it. I have a right to defend myself. Cunningham said Kelly told him she did not know he was law enforcement. The gun she allegedly used was a Haas Firearms County 22 LR six-shot revolver. He said it was loaded, but he appeared to be in poor state of maintenance. Cunningham also seized a loaded chamber 22 caliber Marlin level action rifle. He said it appeared that Kelly is clearly a hoarder and there may be other firearms hidden in the house. Blah, 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 blah. Well, now the wrap up. Mrs. Kelly, you stated that I should have 10 days worth of food. Well, to your accusation, we do have 10 days of food. I know that you know everything, but we don't know when the power's gonna be on. And if our supporters wanna donate, if they want to donate, they're allowed to donate. Now, in your defense, 
if an earthquake, a Hurricane 5, if the world ended, from what that officer said in the report, you have enough shit in your house to eat for 600 months. And Jesus Christ, lady, my town is destroyed. A Hurricane 5 came in through this thing. There's shit all over the street and stuff knocked everywhere. From what he described, that's your fucking front porch. Clean your goddamn house and get off the internet. Why would you badmouth us? You look like a jackass. Prove me wrong, lady. Prove me wrong. That is you. Stop lying to everybody. You're, a, you're, you're, you're very weird. You're very weird. You came to us wanting a voice. We gave you a voice. What the Doug Live people don't know is you are obsessed with the lady Sonya. I spoke about Sonya. I, I did not like what I saw, but I'm not a bully. She has a dead military person. Her husband is ex-military and he's, and he's passed. Whatever she did, I do not owe her a life of bullying on the internet. That's not who I am and that's what I told you. You got weird. You want, you, you're very vindictive. You're very vindictive. It's not for me to just destroy this woman. It's not who I am. And then you asked all these weird favors with your psycho thinking for me to contact Molly and, and this and that. Who are you? Who are you? I'm not gonna start bothering all these people. Bothering all these people, contacting all these women. You never asked my wife once. Never asked my wife once. Your, your, your infatuation with Doug. Remember, live? I said, what's your relationship with him? You stuttered. Oh, he's like a brother. That's not what you told me in emails. It's not. It's not. You were part of this whole weird rumor of Doug's relationship problems, which I wanted nothing to do with, and I made very clear from the get-go, I'm not putting that on the internet. You are the equivalent of a shit starter. It's what you are. You have way too much time on your hands to be in everybody's business and do all these Facebook posts. Clean your goddamn house. Clean your house. Hoarder. That is an embarrassment. The officer said he went to dive to the left and there was a pile of shit. He couldn't dive there. He couldn't go right, he couldn't go left, he couldn't even squat. There's shit everywhere. He probably ran and bleached and sanitized his entire uniform. Because your house stunk like poo-poo. There's stuff everywhere. There's trails through your house. How did you make it to the window to, to be able to yell at him? Because you're hoarding you're hoardingness. You're the only one with the magic key with to the maze of shit. It's ridiculous. We've all seen hoarders. You're a hoarder. Hoarder status. This is ridiculous. Ridiculous. You're a shit starter. You're obsessed. You're obsessed. Which is very weird. Because sticking up from Doug Live from Northport, there was another creator that was obsessed with him. That's what it was all about. I enjoyed working with you with Sperm Squad. Because I don't like obsessed people. There's something that doesn't tick right in their head. I forgot about you. But now your obsessiveness is over here. And just like Sperm Squad, I have to end it. I have to end it. It's weird that you're watching my videos and posting like a verbatim your narrative. That is weird. Again, you fall into the caliber of people who attack this channel. Just look at the track record. It doesn't look good. It's not my narrative. I'm not making it up. It's all on Front Street. I show my face. I've talked about my background. I'm not hiding anything. So before you go to defend yourself and get all mad about what I said and what I showed, make a video and show that you're not this picture. Make me look like a big dummy if you want to win this one. Because I win with the truth. You win with lies and manipulation. 
And I don't like those type of people. This is the crime genre. This is what we do all the time. Break people like this down. Manipulating, mind games, and obsessed. The only thing you should be obsessed with is cleaning your goddamn house. Now do me a favor. Leave me and my wife out of your dirty mouth before I tell her what's happening. You're lucky she's sleeping. And it's a goddamn hurricane. I'm gonna get some rest. I love y'all. We do it with truth. And let the truth prevail on this one. If you're confused on this one, still, and there'll be a few that, you, that will be, read the comments. Doug, you can contact me personally. Nothing but respect for you and your channel, and you have great supporters and subs, but uh, everybody has a bad apple. I, ha I have. You don't have to comment yourself. I hope you see this. Peace, everybody. Be safe and stay blessed.